Have you changed your mind? Will you look for ashes? If your cat's out in the Commonwealth, he's probably dead. Don't say that! It's not true! Now are you going to help me or not? I don't have time for this. You're on your own, kid. Fine! Be that way! You outsiders are mean! <laughs> Hey guys, real quick before the video starts, I just want to tell you guys that this is going to be the last Fallout 4 video. I want to be a douchebag in different games. Also, just want to remind you guys to like and subscribe. That's it. Alright, enjoy the video. You there. How would you like to do Vault 81 a favor and possibly save my boy's life? This isn't my problem. Find someone else to run your errands. You useless piece of shit. You won't even lift a finger to save a little boy. Are you here for the synth? Uh, I'm here to pick up an order. Two large pepperoni and a calzone. Name is... Fuck you. The cure. You found it. Give him half, and I'll take the other half. It doesn't work that way. Half a dose won't cure him. Stop being selfish and just give me the serum. Let him die. I'm keeping it. You're going to sell it, aren't you? Bastard. Are you really willing to let Austin die just to earn a few caps? He can die for all I care. What's one more dead child in this world? No wonder we don't let many Commonwealth people into the vault. You are a cold, selfish bastard. Get out of my sight. <laughs> Atom's holy ground. Why? State your purpose or be divided in his sight. You people live here? This place is a dump. You are not one of Adam's chosen. Save your judgment for those who care what mortals think. You're worshipping what? Radiation? You're crazy. Atom provides for and protects us. If you are unwilling to accept his embrace, then I suggest you leave and never return. None will escape the Great Divide. Pain! Yes! Pain! Give yourself to Adam! Behold the fate! I need someone to get him off the jet. Ever since all that drama, he's gotten worse. Doesn't leave his room, high all the time. Rachel said if he doesn't get help, he could die. Let him die. One less junkie in the Commonwealth. You outsiders are real humanitarians, you know that? It's a wonder I want to leave this place. What are you doing here? Can't you see I'm busy? You're just a waste of space. I couldn't care less what you do. That's harsh, man. Really harsh. It wasn't my fault. No one was watching that kid anyway. It should have been you, not Austin. Oh, yeah? I bet it would have made that little decision of yours a lot easier. Save yourself and let the junkie die. You want to pin this all on me? Well, I'm not going to let you. Hey, Sheffield, what do you think about coming to work for me? Really? You... you mean it? Nah, never mind. Just a little joke. Well, why is that funny? <sighs> what a momentous day. Dr. Braun tasked me with something vital. A series of prototypes and their related... well... experiments that could redefine society. But, as you can see, things did not go according to plan. vault -Tec Destroyed my life. vault -Tec can burn for all I care. Oh, I... Listen, I understand that a former Vault resident could harbor certain feelings. I'll tell you what. These experiments... I will let you run them. If you find anything unconscionable, just don't do it. Or change the parameters of the experiment. I assure you these devices can make people's lives better.
Just give me a chance. This is my vault now. If you want to live, leave. I... understand. I will leave. Here. This is everything you need to run the vault. Just let me live. Ah. Uh, I'll be leaving. Wait. Wait. You find things. Track down answers. That's what you do, right? That's why you came after me? What if I told you that there's a secret? A big secret here on this island. Something way more important than just one lost girl. Sister, there's a lot of things on this island more important than you. If you could just hold the jokes for a second. Two slugs in the gut, plus the fall from the elevator. I ain't gonna make it. Just let go. It'll all be over soon. We should have done something about McDonough. Ain't like we weren't warned. Just didn't want to admit it. Everyone in the town is dead, torn apart and eaten by the creatures of the island. What have you done? I had nothing to do with it. Don't lie to me. Tell me why you murdered all those people. I made a choice, Dima. That's more than you've done. Don't you dare turn this around on me. I am not the one who's committed mass murder. I am done talking to you. I have to prepare Acadia for living in this new, terrible world you've handed us. I hope, for your sake, that you can live with all that blood on your hands. I heard about Far Harbor. It was you, wasn't it? You found something in Dima's memories to turn off the fog condensers. It was just like a horror movie. Monsters strike Var Harbor, starring a bunch of people who are dead now. Nothing phases you, does it? It's all just one big joke. Enough that I lay here dying. Now you plan on what? Destroying everything? Tell me then. Under what righteous pretense have you justified this atrocity? I just want to watch this place burn. It's hard to believe I'm related to you. Well, none of it matters now, I suppose. You'll accomplish your task and ruin humanity's best hope for the future. The only question left then is why you're standing here. Is it regret? Or did you just come to gloat? I wanted to see you one last time before your whole empire comes crashing down around you. Get out of here. Bastards have my family. You... You gotta help me. Please. I only help myself. What's in it for me? I can pay you. Everything's relatively quiet for once. You need something? I have proof. Dima killed the original Captain Avery. Here. I... but that's... my locket. It, it was lost in the fire. The skull. It, it can't be. Listen, I, I'm me. I remember everything. I can't be a, a synth. You're wrong. Now, I know it's a lot to take in, but... the evidence is conclusive. 
You need to accept it. I... I... It's true, isn't it? It's true, isn't it? I'm a synth. Do you have any idea what it's like to learn everything you know, everything you believe, is a lie? I don't trust you, Avery. Or whatever you are. Right now, I don't give a damn. Think the only thing I can do now is live the way I believe is right. Dima is a murderer and a liar, and he should pay. But if you share this with anyone here, especially Alan Lee, many innocent people will suffer. Far harbors on the edge, and this will just push everyone right over it. Confront Dima. If you can make him pay, do so. But please, keep that evidence a secret. Evidence like this is pretty important. Valuable. Hypothetically speaking, how much is it worth to you to keep it secret? Damn you! If you won't do it for principle, then I have your caps. I could pay you 1300 Just promise to keep it secret. I can't make any promises. Far Harbor's barely holding itself together. If you're careless with that... Please, Dad! Don't leave me here! I want to go with you! You're not going anywhere with me. You're not my son. But you can't just leave me here. I don't want to die. Please, just think about it for a second. That's not happening. No way. You're just going to leave me here? I can't believe it. I hate you. I knew you could do it. All right, Sturgis. Fire it up. You're seriously going to leave that kid? Your own son. Here to burn? It's none of your goddamn business, Sturgis. Activate the relay. Yeah, all right, all right. But you're one mean customer, you know that? Relay ready? Good to be back in Diamond City. Nick. Time to hit the road? Let's head out. Well, all right. I only ask that you judge me and not what we've built together. Allow the peace between Acadia and Far Harbor to last beyond this. Peace? You call murdering one of ours peace? I say we end this bastard and then burn his whole goddamn Acadia to the ground! Alan, enough. Demo will pay for his crime, but not Acadia. This path you want leads to murder. Cold-blooded murder. We leave them be. We'll never know if they're killing and replacing us, one by one. No. We kill every last one of them, just to be sure. Who's with me? For what Dima did, Acadia should suffer. Even the mainlander sees I'm right. What the hell are you doing? You're signing Kasumi's death warrant. Acadia's going to burn. Out of the way, Captain. Alan, no! Those sins! Those murdering sins! I've been telling you for- So, Dima is dead. I guess all that talk he had about being my brother hardly matters now. On the bright side, you get to continue your, alas, I'm the only prototype synth routine. You know, why don't you just shut the hell up for once? I swear you care more about sounding smart sometimes than you do about who has to listen to it. Oh, uh, hello, boss. Congratulations on taking out Coulter. I'm, uh, sure you'll do great. Hey, show some more enthusiasm when you say that. No offense intended. I know it's a tough job. Sorry I'm so nervous. I didn't mean any disrespect, boss. I just don't know where I stand with you, and I, I don't want to end up pissing you off. That, and well, I'd be lying if I said we weren't all wondering how you plan to run the place. I mean, this is your show now. You can do anything you want. You can run Nuka World just like Coulter. Business as usual, or... You could... Um, well, you know... Get rid of the Raiders if you don't exactly agree with how they're running the place. How dare you suggest something like that? I should have you shot. Okay, okay, I get it, boss. Just take it easy. There's no need to get angry. Uh, <clears throat> Holy 
Holy shit. That was one hell of a bang, wasn't it? So that's it. The Institute is destroyed. It's finally over. You did issue the evacuation order, right? I didn't notice in all the chaos. No. Everyone in the Institute is dead. My God. So we just... killed everyone? This is gonna be a black mark on the many men forever. As glad as I am that the Institute is gone, this wasn't the plan. Damn it, General. You dragged us down to their level. It didn't have to be this way. Mom? Dad? I'm... I'm home. Kasumi? Oh my god. My baby is okay. Welcome back home, Kasumi. It's good to be home. You... you saved my daughter. Thank you. Time to pay up, Kenji. Don't worry. You've earned it. Kasumi, does this mean... you know we're your parents, right? You're not a synth. I know, Mom. I'm sorry. I was just... so confused. I wanted to go... somewhere. Anywhere. It's okay, Kasumi. You're home now. Kenji, it's not true. Kasumi really is a synth. She replaced your daughter. What? What are you saying? Why are you doing this? I told you I made a decision. I came home. Can't that be the end of it? They have a right to know. Kasumi, is it true? You're not my daughter? I... Yes. It's true. I mean, I, I can't prove it, but... When I made it to Acadia, I, I just knew. Where's the real Kasumi? I don't know. There's no telling when I replaced her. I... I never knew what I was before. I, I never wanted to hurt you. Get out! Kenji! You heard me. You've been lying to us this whole time. My real daughter is dead. Get out of here. Never come back. It's your decision, Kenji. I never want to see you again, Synth. You've brought enough pain to this family. Leave. <sighs> Goodbye, Mom. Dad. You don't get to call us that anymore. Now go. <laughs> Look who it is. Are you here to grace my humble market stand with your presence, oh great boss, sir? Lose the attitude, or lose something a lot more valuable. Sorry. I know you didn't ask for this. It's just hard not to be bitter, you know? We do all the work, then the gangs reap the rewards. Pretty sweet setup, at least for you. But I guess it doesn't really matter what I think, does it? As long as I'm wearing this collar, I'm no better than a slave. Unless you want a bullet in the brain, shut the hell up and get back to work. Fine. I said all I wanted to say. You. You're the one who destroyed the Institute. You could have let the people on the inside live. Instead, you boxed them in and detonated your payload. You've killed an entire species. You monster. They were a necessary sacrifice. We should have sacrificed you the second you asked for our help. What I do now is justice. Sam! It's only a matter of time. To see you kill monster. You, friend? I don't have time for this, pal. I've got raiding to do. You no friend. You bad man. Sito kill you. Sito kill. I have to shut off the power to this machine that's keeping me alive. I want to die. What? No!
There's got to be a better solution than killing you. That's easy for you to say. Standing there on your own two legs, able to go where you wish and do what you want. You can't kill him. He's a great man. He invented Nuka-Cola, the best thing in the world. Lady, you don't know what a torment it is. Being trapped here alone and staring at the same wall decade after decade. Now please shut up while I talk to your more rational friend here. I realize that what I'm asking isn't easy, but there's something in it for you. When the power is cut, the door to the prototype storage room will open automatically. Take anything you want. I don't care anymore. Just please, set me free at last. I can't bear this loneliness any longer. Wait, 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 wait. I have an idea. Mr. Brad Burden wants to die because he's lonely, right? Well, maybe I could stay with him, you know? Keep him company, give him someone to talk to. He's like a hero to me. Yeah, that's not happening. I want that experimental ammunition. I know, I know, but I have something else that I can offer you instead. At least hear me out. I've got a limited edition Nuka-Cola jumpsuit. It's really stylish and not many were made. It's one of my most treasured possessions, but... Well, I'm willing to let you have it. A Nuka-Cola jumpsuit? Ha! That's a paltry prize compared to what I'm offering. The choice is yours, but I beg you to honor my wishes. There is no one else who can help me. Sarah. I'm almost afraid to ask, but what's your decision? I'll accept your offer. I won't shut the power off. Thank you, thank you, thank you! You're doing the right thing! After all, this is a great man we're talking about. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a living legend to talk to. Good luck running Nuka World! Can I help you? Now I'm here for your land. You should leave while you can still walk. Whoa, 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 take it easy. All right, uh, look, can't just abandon this place. It's home. You stay here another minute. <laughs> Trust me, you're gonna regret it. Christ, uh, no need to do anything rash, all right? Uh, land's yours. Hey, you. Christ, who gives Raiders a damn radio station? What can I do for you? This place is gonna start giving me and my gang a Nuka World a cut of everything you grow, make, or find under the damn couch cushions, understand? That... that's an interesting proposal. I... I I'm sure we can come to... Some kind of mutual understanding. Listen, you're gonna start working for me now, all right? Just keep the supplies coming and we won't have any problems. Darn, fine. If it'll get you off my back. Now please, get the hell out of here. You've crossed the line, General. There are some things I can't forgive. I thought I knew you. I trusted you. And then you joined up with the scum that prey on the Commonwealth. That's enough out of you, Garvey. I guess we understand each other then. Don't think that the Minutemen will stand by and let you bring even more misery to the Commonwealth. If that means shooting at you and your new friends, so be it. 
but that's in your hands. You can still turn back and try to actually make the Commonwealth a better place. If you or any Minutemen get in my way, I won't hesitate to put you down. Don't worry. I wasn't expecting anything else from you. For the Commonwealth's sake, I hope you change your mind and come back to being the general we hoped for. I'll follow your orders as a loyal Minuteman. But our friendship is over. I can never trust you like that again. I'm always glad to see the sun come up one more time.